here we have one of the four Polaron G2 release heads uh, for the new cluster launcher. Uh, and each one of these has an air intake over here. This is the nozzle seat that the nozzle sits on. We have a, a servo motor over here to do the release. And the way it works, the rocket and the nozzle simply fit onto the nozzle seat. We lock the lever in. And at 200 psi, there's about 300 newtons pushing up this way, which translates uh, with this lever ratio to about 20 newtons pushing down uh, on this side. So that's fairly easy for this uh, fairly powerful servo to, to release it uh, when it actually moves and it fires. We mounted the release head to our old launcher so that we could test it. The launcher allows the bottle to move up a little bit, but it's tied down so it can't fly over the fence. We've got the servo timer and battery. It's in a plastic bag so they don't get wet. With the trigger wire coming out. And a wire to the servo motor. So let's lock it into position. It's now ready to be filled. On the first test, we only pressurized it to 100 psi to see how well it worked. Three, two, one. You can see the slight delay from the time that it gets triggered to the time it actually releases. This takes about 60 milliseconds. Each of the four release heads will have adjustable timing so we can synchronize them. On the second test, we took it up to 200 psi. You can see that this time the whole launcher lifts up when the rocket releases. Three, two, one. This head seems to be working quite well, so we can build the other three and the rest of the launcher. For more information on the build, click on the link in the description.